So the front row features Ross Maguire and Eddie O'Shea. For their nearest rival in the championship, you have to look all the way back to 10th position for Johnny Garnas, who finished 5th position last time out after an 8th position finish in his opening ride. Also watch out for Ollie Walker, who starts 6th here, who had a great 2nd position finish last time out. Ross Maguire then denied in race number 2, looking to get back to winning ways. He already has five race victories in this class in 2017. We're waiting for the last of the riders to get onto the grid. The second row is Ryan Hitchcock and Aidan Davey. The third row, James Cook and Ollie Walker, who I said had that good second place finish last time out. Dylan Meller and Emmanuel Brinton on row four. Row five, Owen Meller and Johnny Garnas, who sits third in the series points. Evan Belford all the way down in 11th position alongside Mason Johnson. Cameron Sewell and Troy Jeffrey on row seven. Row eight with Josh Bannister. What a brilliant ride he had last time out. Watch for him from down in 15th position he recovered to fourth in race number two we're underway with a good start there from further back through the field we'll see how that filters down as they work their way through the first couple of turns Eddie O'Shea looks to have dropped a position on the opening two bends Ryan Hitchcock also up there with them as they make their way through the two hairpins then it's a big group all the way down from fourth towards the back of the field and side-by-side -side action into the second hairpin, trying to pick the riders out as they make their way to the far end of the circuit behind a pillar that obscures the view of uh, our commentary position here and the barriers at the top end of the circuit. And then back down towards us at the chicane. Three chicanes in total during the lap. Here we go then with Ross Maguire leading us trying to see where Eddie O'Shea has ended up down in third place, although it looks as though Maguire's dropped out of that top spot. It's certainly close between the top two as they come towards the end of the opening lap. Who will lead us by the narrowest possible margin? It's James Cook, who had such a fantastic start. I mentioned as they got away from the grid, he started in P5, and he was already up to second position by the time they got to the first turn, James Cook, and now he is our race leader, although not for much longer. Ross Maguire comes through. So Maguire threw at McRae's. Trying to repay the compliment, it's Cook back into Iredales. Here they come side by side again. At two turns, they've been completely level, and it's Cook who leads them going to the top bend. James Cook then in front from Ross Maguire in second. Third is with Eddie O'Shea. Not a brilliant getaway from him, as I said. He'd already dropped from second to third by the first turn, and since then, the top three positions, well, the main change there has been James Cook and Ross Maguire squabbling, but uh, back in positions now, although Maguire's gone for a lunge down the inside into the chicane that gives the momentum back to James Cook as they come around Paddock Bend Cook will look to the inside will Maguire finally be able to open up a bit of a margin no he can't and they're swarming all over him now the top three positions with Ross Maguire leading James Cook second Eddie O'Shea the fastest of the trio on that last lap gaining half a second on James Cook and that's why these three up front are nose to tail the group behind them, not too far behind either. There's five riders in a pack. Ryan Hitchcock leading that group. Johnny Garner's up to fifth. Two tenths of a second in arrears of Hitchcock and trying to find a way through. Ollie Walker, Dylan Meller and Josh Bannister are the remaining riders in that group that I was talking about. A group of five all going down to the top then behind the lead trio with Ross Maguire leading us. James Cook in second. Eddie O'Shea in third. Will any of the riders go for a move into the chicane again? Maguire covering it off for the moment with Cook seemingly the most under pressure now from O'Shea who tries to carry his momentum out of the chicane but can't do so still lively racing going on for 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th as Cook gets back onto the tail of Maguire again looks down the inside 4th place still with Hitchcock but only just ahead of Garnas Meller making a position there on Ollie Walker so Ollie Walker after his excellent ride last time out isn't having it all his own way in race three as down the inside goes Eddie O'Shea to pass James Cook the early race leader briefly losing second position but back he comes Maguire from Cook who's not one to surrender clearly because he was overtaken by Ross Maguire and then fought his way back through making Maguire work for that race lead still just over two tenths of a second between the top three Fourth place with Ryan Hitchcock ahead of Johnny Garnas, although Garnas has been coming at him, no doubt about that. And they're side by side again for fourth position, going through the chicane. And there's three riders in the mix there. And I think Garnas might have made that place in all of that squabbling. Certainly looks as though he's come through for fourth position at the expense of Ryan Hitchcock, who's dropping backwards. So there's Maguire, Cook, and O'Shea coming over the line. And then it's Garnas, Hitchcock, and Meller. So as indeed I suggested, 
It looks as though Johnny Garnas has got through to fourth position ahead of Ryan Hitchcock. And Hitchcock now under some pressure from Dylan, Mellon, who's, Dylan Meller, who's trying to come through for P5. No change in the top three positions. It's still Maguire from Cook and O'Shea. But it's Ryan Hitchcock in fifth place who is coming under siege now. In fact, he's lost that fifth position. Through goes Dylan Meller. Josh Bannister also trying to take advantage with Ollie Walker dropping back to eighth place on that previous lap, lap number four. Lap five we're into now, deep into lap five with Ross Maguire still holding on. James Cook maintaining the gap. Still two tenths of a second separating these top three. This is fascinating out front to see who will make the move. It's Maguire going into Paddock Bend who leads them, but it's Cook who seemingly has a slight pace advantage and O'Shea is faster than the pair. And here goes O'Shea down the inside into uh, turn number one goes James Cook. Maguire covers it off. O'Shea was trying to round the pair and three into one doesn't really go. So they all settle straight back into the positions they were in before. Meanwhile, Josh Bannister did make a move on Dylan Meller on that lap five to come through for sixth position. I did say he was looking for a move. Garnis, Hitchcock, Bannister and Meller. And Hitchcock now looking set to drop behind. This is good riding from Josh Bannister. After his recovery from 15th to fourth in race two, he's already up to sixth position and now challenging for fifth. And it's a three-way struggle over fourth, fifth and sixth positions. As they come back down towards us again here, there goes Eddie O'Shea. O'Shea coming through from third to first on lap six. Getting the better of Ross Maguire, relegating James Cook down to third. So Eddie O'Shea up front, and this could be a second consecutive win for him if he can hold on to it. Maguire under pressure still from Cook, but that's now over second place. A new fastest lap of the race from Eddie O'Shea. Dylan Meller recovering fifth position. So still in that group behind as they come through yellow flag situation at the hairpin. That's going to at least hold the positions for now. And they come back towards Iredales once again. O'Shea in front, Maguire in second. Cook being dropped slightly by the top two now. Half a second or so separating the top three, which hasn't been the case for the majority of the race. For most of the way round, it's been two tenths of a second between them. At the moment, it looks as though Eddie O'Shea is the rider with the pace, but Ross Maguire has done well to get back on his tail. And there's still line abreast from fifth position down, and side by side, Ryan Hitchcock has missed out, lost a position. Johnny Garnas is still leading that group. Dylan Meller up in uh, fifth place. Hitchcock has dropped down to seventh, by my reckoning, against uh, Josh Bannister coming through. And that's confirmed as they flash past the start, finish straight, and across the timing beam. O'Shea from Maguire. Maguire setting a new fastest lap of the race last time around. James Cook in third. They're making their way past a back marker. Cook was the slowest to work his way through. That's given Maguire the advantage again, but still little more than half a second to choose between the top three. James Cook having set a new personal best on the previous lap. Ross Maguire with a new fastest lap of the race on lap number seven. So both of them are trying to work hard on the tail of Eddie O'Shea and force an error. It's O'Shea, though, who holds it for the moment. As they come to the closing stages now of the race, Eddie O'Shea leading this group. They're going to meet another backmarker. Maguire thinks about a move down the inside. O'Shea covers the inside. Maguire's going to try and go all the way around. They're three abreast coming to the checkered flag. Drag race down to the line, and Eddie O'Shea holds on ahead of Ross Maguire and James Cook in a fascinating finish in which the top three were separated by two tenths of a second. Johnny Garnas over the line in fourth position. That's good news for him in the context of the championship because he had to work hard to hold off a whole group of riders. Josh Bannister in fifth place. Another brilliant recovery from him from down on 15th position on the grid to come through for fifth.